Well, tonight a local company has developed a test that could eventually help millions of kids with attention disorders. And as Paula Eben shows us, it doesn't just diagnose the disease, but helps determine how kids are doing who already have it. 13-year-old Jillian Cody sometimes struggles to stay focused in school because she has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. Sometimes I think I just space out, but that's mostly like in the classes that are harder for me. That's why Jillian's mom brought her to the New England Center for Mental Health in Littleton to undergo the new quotient ADHD test. The device, which was recently approved by the FDA, uses motion sensors to analyze how much a subject moves, their impulsivity and their response time. Because it's a chemical regulation, you can see their frontal lobe activity not not being there full-fledged and so they cannot regulate their body. With ADHD everything is so can be so subjective and it's nice now to have this objective test. Doctors say the new test is not only helpful in diagnosing ADHD but monitoring patients who take medication to treat the condition. There is no cure for it but it is treatable so when you are able to correct a condition it's worth improving their quality of life. Jillian has been on medication for ADHD since she was in second grade and she is a student that really can't function without it. But um, every once in a while we hit a wall so this is a great way now to tell whether is it time to adjust her medication. The test, which only takes 15 to 20 minutes, costs $150 but it is covered by some insurance companies. I'm Paula Eben, WBZ News. Fourth graders in Braintree will soon be taking another test, a fitness test.